Camrell says he bought his home next to a golf course for the serenity. But as you're about to see, that decision almost cost him his life. It's like a dead trap for us. He's lucky he hasn't got a cracked skull. It's like a bullet. It's like a bullet. It's a nightmare to me. When I touch him, he's alive. I can't believe he's here. He's here. They break windows, they dent cars, they break tiles on roofs. I think this is about the first time I've heard of someone being hit. Ouch. Ouch. So? It is, it is, it is. We all know there's no such thing as the perfect neighbour, but spare a thought for Cam Rule. Smacked fair square in the forehead by a flying golf ball after he parked his car in his driveway. How many stitches have you got there? Uh, there is no stitch, but they put some glues on there. Oh, they've glued your head yes, together? Yes, The wayward ball came from a remorseful golfer playing on the course next door. Now I was going there in, inside the house and the blood was dripping all the way. And then I, I went into the house. So the blood was dripping all the it's way into the house? All the way. I saw my husband bleeding. I haven't seen this scene ever. I have seen in the movie. People are bleeding like that. Any moment he might die. Cam Rule's brush with death has raised serious safety concerns and divided the peaceful community. Is he a golfer? No, no. Well, what do you buy a house on a golf course for? Seriously. Him getting hit in the head, that was just unlucky. While the course owners come up with an extraordinary explanation for the blitzkrieg of balls pummeling properties. The crows pick it up and throw it everywhere. So the crows pick the ball up with the, the beak? Ball. Yes, yes. And drop it everywhere? That's right. So we put the claims of bird bandits and coarse carnage to the test. The Macquarie Lynx International Golf Club west of Sydney is a championship course. Kerry Ann Kennelly graces the fairways as a celebrated member. The course is now surrounded by a gated community of upmarket homes and apartments. I thought it was a, a bird that had crashed into my window. So I was so scared and told my dad, I'm like, I think it was a golf ball. Camrul's daughter, Rafia, is a nervous yeah, wreck over the number good. of golf balls smashing into the family home. We've been like complaining about it for three years and we've been saying this can happen, someone's going to get hit and then someone, someone dies. The blood is like a fl flowing through my, my uh, T-shirt and everything at, the, at that, that time. It's blood from Camrul. Cam Rule's an accountant and reckons he's almost lost count of the number of balls that have torpedoed into his property. From there they hit the ball and the, the ball is set going in there. It comes over the fence. Oh, over the fence. Over the fence, not, not the through fence. the fence. No. But golfers say the complaints are out of bounds. It's like buying next to the airport and complaining about noise. If you know that's a possibility, why would you not take <laughs> precautions like put a net up or wear a helmet? We're going to conduct an experiment, so this is for your own safety. Yep. OK? All right. Ready? You ready? Camrul reckons he's collected over 100 balls that have been launched into his front yard over the past two years. So we're going to put the danger claim to the test and hit 100 of our own and see what the outcome is. Camrul holds tight as we let rip. Camrul's house is about 150 metres from the tee off and another 15 metres away from the tree lined course boundary. Now, the above average golfer like me hits the ball a lot further than that. The odd shot that does clear the trees finds roofs well past Camrul's home. So, it appears it's the below average golfer, course hackers like cameraman Nick and Soundy Scotty who could be causing Camrul and his clan all their headaches. Shut your eyes, Kerry Ann. I almost had to aim at your house on purpose. So yeah. what does that tell you about the quality of golfer here at Macquarie Links? That I can see. Maybe he never played any golf. Like an yeah, amateur? It's purely amateur player. Chandru. Pardon? I'm Chandru, I'm the owner. Oh, Chandru, yeah. Steve Marshall from a current affair. What happened? The neighbour has complained oh, about... Course owner Chandru says Camrul's accident is a one-off and he blames the number of golf balls found in homes near the course on local bird life. Thousand crows come in and we lose two, three thousand balls every year. 
on that particular day, I lost a lot of balls myself right, when you're playing. So the, the crows pick it up and throw it everywhere. So the crows pick the ball up pick with up the, the beak? Yes, yes. And drop it everywhere? That's right. Hey, it's my ball. Chandru's theory is backed up by clips on YouTube. Hey, crow, that's my ball. And Macquarie Lynx golfers. They're just playing crows. They think the balls are eggs. Yeah. Yeah, that's what they do. But I wouldn't pick on the crows. Have you ever seen a crow drop a ball in your yard? Never, ever. I, even, I, I didn't see the, the, the crows here. Actually, no, where are the yeah, crows? Actually, yes. Where are the crows? I don't know. I, 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 I didn't still look at it once. But... We tried to lure a few of the beaked baddies out into the open, but the crows aren't taking the bait. And these aren't the birdies we were hoping for. That bird's not bothered? The crows can throw the ball on the cars. Chandru says it's not crow season yet, but when it is, it could be curtains for the crows. No, no, we hired a professional guy to come and shoot. Wow. Yeah, the really? crows. We did a couple of yeah. times, but then they keep on coming from okay. everywhere. Can but we, we lose a lot of balls, yeah. and crows have thrown balls on cars, this, that. All Camerill's family want is a large net put up between the course and their home. The view is less important than someone, you know, protecting lives. This is the answer. Yeah. You yeah. can see through the view, yeah. and the ball doesn't come in. Course owner Chandru supports the netting solution, but there's a financial sticking point. Who should pay for the net to be put up? We should not pay because we are paying. We are, we are paying Strata Levy. Chandru says the Strata management, which looks after the gated community, should cough up the dough for the net. G'day, Gary. But Strata manager Gary says the responsibility is with the golf club. It's their players, it's yep. their golf balls. I mean, certainly there's houses around it, but um, they deal with it usually on an individual yep. basis. So they don't have a hard and fast policy, but I know they have sort of compensated people in the past. And they say that we can't take the liability and we can't take, uh, we can't say who did it, it's... but <laughs> as your neighbour, we can yeah. uh, help you. We can help you yeah. by paying you off, but there's no solution. Do you see what the hole? Which brings us to Dr. Sad Dick's family, which lives opposite another hole on the course. There's a hole. Oh, no, I see it. I see it, Doctor. You've had two broken windows yeah, in your car. Yeah, my car has been, like, t twice. And my sister's car as well, once. My husband's car had dents I have by the balls. We don't need money. We don't, like, need kind of compensation, but we need something to protect us. And I think the golf club, it's up to them to be able to take that step. Like, it's just a matter of time before someone else gets hurt.